Good morning, class, and welcome to today's lecture. For our lecture, I'm going to discuss and show you how to properly use your T-square. So this T-square here is ancient. I've been using this since I was in college. That is way back um, 2009. And it is a handover T-square. So um, one of my seniors before, a friend of my brother, lent it to me. And ever since, I'm using this T-square. So the brand is, for our case, you know what brand this is. <clears throat> you will know it by the color itself. So this uh, video is not sponsored, so I will not be naming that brand. And we have another tool here, which is a triangle, or this is an adjustable triangle. If you have this, you can see that there are um, uh, specified numbers here, which represents angles. So for this, this uh, setting here, we have a 45 degree triangle. So there's a, a, a screw here where you can adjust the angle of this triangle to 0 degrees or 90 degrees like this there to 80 or 95, 80 here 85, 70, 60 degrees so if you don't have uh, a 30 degree triangle or 30 by 60 degree triangle you may use this one then tighten the screw and there you have a 60 degree triangle and also we have here a 45 degrees so this is a 45 degree triangle okay so i'm going to screw it i'm going to use this uh triangle for this activity or for this video so this video is all about uh, how to properly use your triangle um, triangle and your t-square so why do they call it a t-square i'm not uh particularly sure but i know it's it looks like a letter t there square um it doesn't look like it's square but it's it's like a long ruler okay for my case it is a 36 inches um t-square there you're going to look at it so as you can see there are a lot of tapes in here that i have used since i was in college i up to now i haven't removed it so you can see here the units there are units here that is in inches under here at the bottom of this t-square and at the top of it there's in centimeters it is 36 inches and in centimeters is about 9 90 centimeters so this is my very ancient t-square that i have been using since i was in first year college okay before you begin so first you need to have a um first you need to have a paper so as for me, I have prepared an A3 size paper, some of which have have uh, prints already. So I'm going to use the back part of this A3 sheet. And after you have your A3 sheets, you need to have here a masking tape. It is uh, already the end of its life. What we do before when I was in college is to save those tapes because it's really expensive or we even ask for classmates for this but if you have if you don't have a masking tape i don't uh, really recommend using a, a sketch tape because it will tear your paper down okay but if you have this uh it is really uh, effective we're going to use this for your paper. So the first thing you need to do is to check if your table or your drafting table is uh, flat and clean. The surface should be clean. 
with no um, no bumps and all that. Okay. And the set the second thing that you need to check is the edge of your table. You, sh you should check if the edge of your table is straight so that you can freely move your t-square like this okay. so uh, as for this this is not an actual drafting table uh, i'm just going to show you how to efficiently use your t-square so if you have a straight edge table and a smooth surface table that is enough uh, to uh, properly utilize your t-square and your triangles so let's start so first check the edge of your uh, table and make sure that your t-square is uh fits the the actual edge of your table okay so and then next part is to check whether uh your paper is actually in the level of your t-square so how to check that of course you have to use your you have to use your t-square okay so now you're going to check if this edge right here is actually level okay so now if it's already level you have to use your tape uh, get a little and even cut it in half okay just a small tape okay and then tape this side here this side here next get another uh, piece of tape move your t-square carefully and cut the tape Tape this side, the upper right, and the upper left corner of this paper. Okay, so now you have <clears throat> now you have mounted your paper on your table. If you're going to touch it, it's uh it's already fixed or already mounted on your table. It, make sure that it's not moving. But if you think that this uh, corner tapes are not enough to, to safely fix your paper on your table. You are free to use more tape and then put it on this side and another side or on top and at the bottom of your paper. So there, you have a mounted paper which is uh, already leveled with your t-square so now you may use this and you may start that okay so that is how to use properly or how to mount your paper using your, your t-square and your triangle so before you start drafting you have to do it first you have to mount your paper you have to fix your paper on your table. So that's it for today's lecture. I will see you again on our next lecture. Happy drafting class!